And I so hope you all are having a good night. Because I've had better nights. My night is just about to get better. But I've certainly had better nights and better weeks. So I hope that you've had a wonderful week. Time to play, uh, time to play some Sonic Time Lord action stuff. Let me turn this up on my TV here. That is my remote controller being upside down. Okay, so hopefully we don't have any bleed through with the audio. It seems like it's pretty out of control. I'm actually gonna pull down. Okay, so let's do it. Sonic CD, the one game that I never actually owned until recently because I never had a Sega CD. I had a Sega Genesis, but never came around to Sega CD territory, but what, are, what kind of options do we have here? Uh, I know how to play and everything. Okay, so I'm just gonna go right into it. Sonic CD, we are going to completely forget about the old file that I have here, and we're just gonna start a new game. As Mr. Sonic. Oh, sorry. You know what? You know what I said about stopping the intros. I forgot that there's an intro in this too. So here we go. It looks like they took a scene from Dragon Ball Z took out every Dragon Ball Z character and just threw Sonic in. Like I'm half expecting, oh yep, here comes a, here comes a Saiyan. Yep, just Sonic looking at it, a planet. Is that what this is? is? Is that where this game takes place? Is some tiny planet? Okay, so we so we have our exposition here. Sonic runs up a chain to a mechanical planet that isn't the Death Egg. Okay, okay, here we go. I am going to. I've played a little bit of Sonic CD here and there. I don't quite have the time traveling mechanic down too well, so there will more than likely be plenty of times when I completely destroy it, and other times when I manage to get into the past. But I really want to get into the past here, so I can try to find whatever machine, whatever the machine is called that lets me save the animals. Okay. No, I don't want to go to the future, sorry. Yes! I did it! First try. Alright. Let's find that little machine, shall we? So if you haven't played Sonic CD, um... You... The basic idea is... You know, like any other Sonic game, you could just rush through and get to the end of the level and not give a shit. That's totally fine, but um, every level has its... Just about every level has its uh, past, present, and future variants, and the layouts change between them. And the idea is that you go into the past and you free the animals or whatever from some machine. And then, no, I don't want to go to the future. And then... I think you destroy some other, like, some holographic Metal Sonic bullshit. 
and then that saves the future. And depending on whether you do those things or not, the future will look mechanical, as in the bad future, or it will look totally organic and, and, and saved, essentially. So that's what I'm trying to do. And I don't know how many of them I'm going to find. But my natural instinct is to go up. So I think there's one up here, actually. If I can get up there. Up, 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 get around. Thank you. Oh, there it is. Yep. So the things look like that. And so that apparently saves the future. At least, kind of. I should have collected more rings. Yeah, I made a good future in Zone 1. Good. Okay, hold on, let me check something real quick here. Um... YouTube seems to be struggling a little bit with the stream. Twitch is usually okay. So I'm gonna refresh, and yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting some low video output for whatever reason. So, okay. I will... I'll keep an eye on that. Like I said, I just started using Restream. And that may be causing some issues here. But for the time being, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna actually, let's do this. I might need to lower my bitrate a little bit. Okay, maybe I can't do that right now. Okay. Alright, well... Hang in there, YouTube. Oh, don't lose momentum, please! Yes! I made it to the past. Let's see here. Maybe since I'm streaming my own video, it's having a little bit of a little bit of trouble. So let me just get rid of the Twitch version here. On my end, you should still see everything that's going on right now. So. Some more technical difficulties than I am used to dealing with. Okay, that should have improved it a little bit. So, hope for the best. Okay, we're in the past again. I need to find another machine. No, I don't want to go to the future yet. I'll just, I'll just save it. Yeah, I... Sonic CD was always kind of this no. Always kind of this elusive game to me. I knew it existed for the longest time. I played most of the other 2D Sonics at the time. But, since I didn't own it as a kid, I never got a chance to play it, so... Um, I did actually get... I think it was the Sonic Gems Collection. The GameCube game, I don't want to go to the future! No! Not the future, no! I wanted to, I wanted... I want to save the past, okay. Let me find another past. 
Let me find another past. Past me, please. Okay, that's a broken one. Does it stay broken for both? Oh, maybe you destroyed that and you destroyed the, uh... The Sonic one? I don't know. See, there are a lot of mechanics in this game that I don't quite understand completely. But I do know that I need to get enough rings to get into a special stage, and fuck... Fuck this. Okay, fine. Okay. Hey, Rock Lobster, welcome. So you had a friend with a Sega CD, huh? Yeah, that, um, I, I think I had a friend that had all the Sega peripherals back in the day. His name was Justin. He was sort of, he sort of had the reputation for having all the video games back when I was in elementary school. And so he had everything from, like, the Sega CD to the 32X to the Sega Nomad handheld. And I remember him saying one time, when I went over to his house, he said that the only reason that we were friends is because of all of his video games. And I said, no, that's not true, but it kind of was true. Like, that's that was sort of the basis for our friendship to begin with. But long story short, I did not have a Sega CD. I also didn't save the future. Like I wanted to. I didn't get to any special stages because I didn't collect enough rings. Come on, do your thing. Back up. Wait a minute. Was that it? <laughs> Was that it? Okay. Well, better... Better late than ever, I suppose. Yeah, I think I found out about more video games from my friend Justin than I did anywhere else when I was a kid. There was also that one kid that would always, like, spread the bullshit rumors about games, too. Oh, hi, Amy. Oh, no. What am I gonna do? I'll just let her stay kidnapped, fuck it. Don't really want to go to the future yet. I want to go to the past. But I also need to collect rings. Like, there was the kid... He, for, for starters, he was the first kid that told everybody that there was going to be a Pokemon 2, and we all thought that he was a liar because he was a liar about pretty much everything else. Turns out he was right about that one. Um, but he was also the guy who spread a bunch of rumors about Pokemon and the old Pokemon games that didn't exist. We all believed him for a minute. And then way later in my life, those of us that- God damn the fuck! Those of us that knew the kid remarked about- God, Jesus. Is there another way out of here? Ugh. No! Okay, fine, I'll die. We remarked about how he was just kind of a pathological liar. Like, all the way to the point of high school, apparently. Because these guys went to high school with the kid. But eventually he graduated to never leaving his room and always playing guitar, and that was his life, so... I guess that's how it goes. Okay. No! I don't want to go, I don't want to go, I want to go in my direction, not yours. Okay, I guess we're going to the future! Or not. I'm going back to the beginning of the level. Good. Cool. I don't want to be lost. I just want to be happy. I just want to get all the things that buzz me up.
Make me fuzzy. Ah! Okay, can I get can I get the rings? Do I just need to exercise a little bit of patience? I want to get 50 rings so I can since I'm not saving the future apparently. This is going to be my alternate means of saving the future. Going to the special stages and getting the time zone. The time zones. Keep going, Sonic! No! I'm the worst time traveler ever. They also make it kind of a pain in the ass to keep all your rings. I will say. No! You fucking dick! You honky dick, boy! I'll never get the time stones. Never! Oh, this is like every- this is like every springy Sonic level rolled into one. I don't know what- I don't know what they saw in this level to want to continue making levels like this. It's like, yeah, Carnival Night, we're gonna do Casino Night. Cause, you know, people love bouncing around, like, back in that Sonic CD game, and like, back in that, you know, that- that s spring yard or whatever the, the fuck we called it back then. Alright. Cool. No! Can I please leave? Can I please leave? Oh god, thank god. Nice score, but shit. Send me to the past. Send me to the past. Keep my momentum. Send me to the fuck! Alright, still no time stones. We're gonna have to hold out. For Act 2. Fucking hunk of dick. Trash man. Collision chaos. That's fucking goddamn right. <clears throat> okay. I'll get these rings, and then I'll get these rings, and those rings, and. Oh no, not this. Anything but this. Please, can I leave when I want? Thank you. They, they make levels like this to root out the diehard players. It's like, are you willing to dredge through this kind of stuff to still love Sonic? You bitch! And everything in between. No, I've got it. God, all these fucking springs everywhere. And... Oh, hey! Hey! We're going to the past! Very nice. All y'all tuning in on YouTube, welcome! This is one of my... Probably my second or third split stream out to, uh, YouTube. I normally do this on Twitch, but I decided, hey... People like Sonic on YouTube as well, and why not? Hey, I found- I found the thing. But I never... Like I was saying before, I never... played much of Sonic CD... back in the day. Because I never had a Sega- or, uh, yeah, I never had a Sega CD. That's what it's called. It's not called a Sonic CD, is it? But, um, so, since I have it on the PS3, and it's just kind of sitting there, I decided to cancel my other stream plans and just play some of this. Was that the... that was the hologram thing. Now I need to keep my rings. 
because I want to go to a special stage. Because that will make me happy. Where am I going? Am I going to the past again? I wasn't even... I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Okay. You just want me to lose every ring. I think kind of reminds me of the of the shits from Metropolis Zone and Sonic 2. Um, but yeah, I, I think with this game, considering it came pretty much right after Sonic 1, it's cool that they tried to do something so different. I mean, I, I definitely, as a sequel, I definitely prefer Sonic 2, but... Sonic CD has its charms for just how different it tried to be. There we go. Yeah, that, how, does the, uh, how does the mobile version play of this? Because I saw that there's a mobile version, and I mean, this is technically the same kind of deal. Looks, they're both Christian Whitehead things. Alright, here we go. Wish me luck. Oh, yeah, and that's, yeah. No! Alright, I'm just gonna go for you first. Ah, early... somewhat 3D. Isn't it delightful, folks? Isn't it good? Ah! UFO! Thank you. Okay, a time stone. Good. Yeah, I actually, um, where did I, I... I think I read somewhere that a lot of people consider the mobile version of Sonic CD to be the definitive version of this game. Which I thought was like, huh, that must mean that the touch controls are pretty dialed in. And I destroyed the future, yay! Oh, you juice box! Oh no, it's one of these... It's one of these types of <laughs> shit. Yeah, 3D, um, 3D Blast was one of those games that... I remember getting, I can't remember if I got it for a birthday, or for... something else, but... Um... I remember playing that and thinking, okay, this is this is kind of weird. Like I I can I can kind of play this and Jesus mother of Jesus. And um I thought the flickies thing was really strange and then I remember playing through and getting all the chaos emeralds. I'm like, okay, cool. Do I get to be supersonic and I didn't see supersonic and I was really disappointed. And, and back in the day, it didn't occur to me that there's there's no rhyme or reason for supersonic to exist. It's pretty blast. Like the game just isn't designed around speed. It's just designed around being gated behind birds and really, really, really clunky platforming. Like really, really clunky platforming. But Sonic's, Sonic CD, I, I, I don't know why I never... I mean, I've owned this on the PS3 for almost two years now, and I don't really know why I haven't played it all the way through. I, think, I, I tend to get really distracted by a variety of games, and here's the music! And every volcano on the horizon erupting in unity. It's a... It's a beautiful day. Evoking... Very labyrinth zone type of imagery. Um, yeah. Let 
Cool, yeah, I, I can go to the past. Can I, can I, can I, can I? I just want two hearts. I just want to be a Time Lord, please. Okay, we will do this. No, hey, hey. This is like... Alien Labyrinth Zone. It kind of reminds- actually, it kind of reminds me of like a- a fusion between... Hidden Palace from Sonic 3! Am I- am I just wasting my time? Like, I feel like I'm wasting my time with this... ...thing. I don't know what I did, so I'm going down now. It's like Hidden Palace from Sonic 3 and Labyrinth Zone. With... Very, very funky, creepy, atmospheric music. I made it. Dude, I, uh... I played through... I played through Sonic 1 for... Oh, I, I don't want to say played through it, because I actually didn't make it past Labyrinth, so... I played... I played Sonic 1 recently, just on a whim. Like, you know what, I, I feel I'm like firing up the Genesis and playing Sonic 1, why not? And so I did, and I got all the way to the Robotnik sequence of Labyrinth Zone, where you going up that little chasm with spikes, like the, the spears and shit. And I got a game over, and I said, you know what, I, I, I don't care. Like, I've done this before, I don't need this as a badge of honor now, I, I don't care. Just take me to a place where I'm happy. Sonic 3 Knuckles is also my favorite one, by far. Um, and, and fun fact, I never owned Sonic and Knuckles way back when I was a kid, but... I had a friend who did. And... I, I would always go over to his house, and I would always be excited about playing that, and, and... I think it was that game in Vector Man that he owned that I was really into. But especially Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And... So I managed to play the entirety of the game just over at his house. And I'm gonna go get a time stone, yes. And then it wasn't until I got a PlayStation 2 and the the Sonic Mega Collection Plus came out that I actually had a version of it of my own and definitely played the shit out of it when it came out for that. Um let's see, that one's my favorite. I would say my Right behind that, probably Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Um, I've always had a soft spot for the first Sonic game, but whenever I go back and play it, it's 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 more of an exercise in nostalgia, just turning it on and playing it for a minute, than playing through the whole game. Because there are, uh, I feel like there are too many too many things in the game that would show up in later games that I have a hard time getting over. Like, Spin Dash is the obvious one. Um, I always thought that the design for the Marble Zone was really irritating. Just because of how much it slows you down. It's like, wow, here you go, Green Hill Zone. It's beautiful. You get to run around and go in loops, and, you know, this is what Sonic's all about. And then you go to Marble Zone, and it's like, okay, have fun, you know, hanging out on blocks that are floating slowly over lava as you try to dodge, you know, pouring things of lava, and I was like, yeah, I think I'm good. But, yeah, I, I have a huge soft spot for the Genesis ones minus 3D Blast. I had Sonic Spinball, I don't want to really count that one, I had traumatizing experiences with that game. Um, I have quite a blind spot with the 3D Sonics. Um, I remember when Sonic Adventure came out, I had a friend that owned a Dreamcast. Actually, I had a couple friends that owned Dreamcasts, and I never owned a Dreamcast. And Jesus, what in the fucking fuck is going on? Is it unnatural to think that those things were gonna hurt me and not just push me back? I mean, I suppose they are water, but 
I mean, it just, it just seems like Sonic logic. Um, where was I? Yes, Dreamcast, Sonic Adventure. I, I, back when Sonic Adventure came out, we all thought it was pretty hot shit. Like, we'd all played Mario 64 for a few years by that point, and we, we were used to it. And Sonic, it, 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 was, it was a cool game back in its time. Hasn't aged well at all, in my opinion. Yeah, apparently the apparently the water the water doesn't doesn't hurt you. And I don't know what that does. I'm just hoping to hang on to past stuff until I reach a point where I can go fast. Okay, here we go. This moves with me. That's kind of cool. No, I don't want to go to the future yet. So how exactly am I supposed to travel back in time when I'm going snail's pace? I'm definitely in the Sonic Mania crowd. Um, somebody in the chat here asked Mania or Forces, and uh, yes, I am definitely in the Mania crowd. Forces, you know, like with any 3D-ish Sonic title, I need to see it in action when it comes out to really judge it. So far from what I've seen, I'm, I'm intrigued by the, the, the idea of a custom hero that you can create. I'm intrigued by the idea that they're bringing back sort of the Generations feel, because I thought that there were a lot of positives from that. Um, also a lot of issues with it as well. If they can bring back the better parts of Generations, then I will be all for it. Um, I'm a 2D Sonic guy through and through. I grew up with it. I got a, I got a Sega Genesis bundled with Sonic the Hedgehog 2 in 1992 for my fourth birthday. And I've been in love with the old games ever since. So as soon as Mania comes out, I will be streaming it. I, uh, I remember when gameplay, like what really sold me on Sonic Mania wasn't just the concept of, I just want two more rings. I just want to find two more rings, man. I suppose I can go into the past and try my hand at that shit. And I lost it. Um, I think when I saw the footage from Mirage Saloon, as well as, okay, I can't go back. Damn it, I just want two more rings. As well as the music from Mirage Saloon, I'm like, okay, I'm sold. I'm completely sold on this because it totally, it just, it gets, it gets what a classic Sonic game should be. All right, Seth Miner, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. I appreciate the chat and I appreciate you being here, but thanks for tuning in. This, uh, this whole experience will be up on YouTube sometime soon. As soon as I get it all edited and put together. And those watching on YouTube after the fact already know that it's up on YouTube, so I hope you're happy. No, hey! UFOs! Oh no, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna make it! Shit. Ugh. Damn it. Okay. Another bad future, courtesy of Sean GM. Boy, we're having a great time, aren't we? I just love ruining my future. I love ruining my future and I'm ruining the future of all the tiny animals that don't deserve the future. 
Okay, what is what exactly is this battle here? Come on. Okay, I will give myself a little invulnerability and That's it. Nope, he's still going. Or he's trying. Nope, he is not still trying. I'm just following him. So that was everything that I hate about Labyrinth Zone. Rolled up into a very, very easy sequence. And now we have Bubble Botnik. Oh, this is like the... This is, uh, like the Metropolis Zone battle. I didn't realize that this was where the idea came from. Of the rotating circular objects. Nope! Absolutely not! I got him. Sonic got through Zone 3. <laughs> Scores over 100,000. Good lord. All the happy flowers growing in their non-organic. Inorganic. Non-organic. I'm gonna go with non-organic because I can. My quartz quadrant. Okay. You know, I could see myself really getting into just the mechanics of this game and figuring out the level layouts because they're they're a little weird and a little wonky, but I kind of like the idea of you know, it's it's not it's not non-linear, but it's also not completely linear. You can explore and try to figure out where the things are that you need to destroy to save the, the future and the universe, presumably. But, um, there's also a hack that I just downloaded. It's a Sonic 2 hack that basically turns it into like a mission-based game. So you... I think, it's, I think it's the Retro Remix is what they call it. Sonic 2 Retro Remix. And you basically do Sonic adventures around a bunch of zones, a bunch of recreated zones and new zones and whatever, looking for objects or things, like Chaos Emeralds or whatever, and uh, trying to complete objectives so you can move on to the next place, which is kind of cool, which kind of has sort of the Sonic CD vibe to it. Um, also, one thing that I really like about Sonic CD is that you don't have to strictly get a bunch of stones or a bunch of, you know, or destroy a bunch of those things in the past, those those capsules in the past, to uh, to get the good ending. You can decide to do one or the other, and I I think at this point, since I don't quite have the mechanic down for moving through time, like I just don't, I just don't have it. And what in the shit? Um, until I figure that out, I'm gonna be a special stage guy. But they also don't make it easy for you to get enough rings to do that, so... That's... It's a bit of a challenge, no matter which way you look at it. Past. Ah. Uh. Oh man, come on. I wish they would do that faster. Okay, I want to go up, because I want to explore up real quick. I want to, I want to explore up. Let me go up. Please! What is up that I don't... that I don't know about? Is more... is that... is that another past one? 
Okay, this is the super jumper. That's a future one. I don't really care about that. Oh, there's another jumper over there. Okay. See, this is what I mean. We have elusive level design quirks. There we go. Now we're up here. Now we're through there. And in here for whatever reason. Can I get out? Yep. Okay, whatever. Okay, Quartz Quadrant number three. Going to the pissed. I'm pissed. Let's go to the past. Fuck you, dude. No, I want to go in. Nope. I want to go. It. I want to go this way. I want to. I must do it. I must do it. I want the rings. All the rings. The rings that make me go into the past. They make me go in the past. Wow, way to derail my progress. Oh, fuck you, nope. Don't want to go that way, I want to go this way. Um, yes! Finally, I made it to a past somewhere. Get a lurk while eating, huh? Whatcha eating, guy? Zzz. Or girl, or whomever. What you eating? Are you eating something that? Are you eating something that's food? Wow, I didn't. Uh, I had no idea. I had no idea it looked like this in the past. No, I don't want to go back to the future yet. I want to stay in the past. The past is cool. It's nice and lush. Oh, I did it! But I want more rings. Yeah, they uh, they really make you work for rings here, don't they? Bagel egg sandwiches, huh? I used to do... What did I used to do? I used to do that... On my George Foreman. Like, I would make... I'd make up some eggs and get some cheese and just put them on a George Foreman. Maybe with some hot sauce or something like that. Grill it down just a smidge. I used to. I don't really do it that much anymore. I don't know why. I don't really don't know. I still have a George Foreman, and it's, they're all cheap ingredients, and I could do it more. But I used to just get like salami or pepperoni or whatever, and some marinara sauce and some mozzarella cheese. Grill that down and have myself like a little pizza bagel, like a nice saucy pizza bagel. Oozing. <laughs> Man, it's a good future. I think at this point, making good futures is pretty much moot. Since I'm making more headway with the special stages. No, I don't want to get in the water. Fucking... No, no, it's wasting my time. UFO! Jesus! Stick on the track! Stick on the track, son! Shiv! Shiva! Did it find God? No! I want those! Those are my things that I want! Oh my god! 
Why am I so shit at this? I don't think I've ever been this shit at this before. Oh my goodness! Wow, why am I saying goodness now? I don't... No! Why the life is gonna make me... I wanna bury myself underground! people outside. I have a window open in the back portion of my apartment, but you can hear a lot of shit going out my front door. Because I've actually, uh, the way that I have my computer desk set up, it's like six feet away from my front door. And you can usually hear, uh, a lot of stuff. And by a lot of stuff, I mean mostly everything. Oh, bossy. What's the shtick? What is the... what's the pattern? What is the pattern? Is this like a survive type of deal? Yep. Things are already changing and they are changing quickly. Robotnik, I don't quite know what the hell is happening in this battle. I mean, as long as I win out in the end, that's, that's all I really care about. Looking bad, looking quite bad. Did I just win? Okay. Okay. So we are what on zone five now? Wacky workbench! <laughs> the most craziest workbench you've ever seen! Oh my god. What in the hell is this horseshit? Oh, good lord. Oh my. Ah! Take me to the future. Please, tell me that those things rusted over and I don't have to deal with them ever again. Okay. So, they have ropes in the future, that's kind of cool. Some, uh, slightly different technology. Okay. Wow, this is fucking bizarre. Yeah, this, uh, oh my god, and no, okay. Spring on the legs! I don't want to go that high! Oh, Jesus. Okay, I guess so. Oh, and, and plus these move, so that that's that's just fine. Just cool. Give me a yes, yes, this way. So, um, does anybody think there is a spot in this level where you can actually travel through time? Like any place where you can get enough running momentum. Like, don't like, get me wrong, I actually kind of like the, the goofiness of this level, but it's, uh, it's some acid, that's, that's for goddamn sure. 
And I'm back here. Haven't I been this way before? Have we already been here? Yes, we have. Take me somewhere else, please. No. I don't want to anymore. I don't want to! Boing! Gaboing! Yikes, yikes! Ah! Ah! What are you supposed to do? No! What the fuck is- where, what the fuck is even this level, man? Like... First of all, I haven't seen a single workbench. This is not a workbench. This is this is insanity. Okay. And we're only on act 1, guys. Okay. I've been spat out. Take me up, take me up, take me up this way. I think those are gonna do their thing. No, oh, po oh, po. Oh. Mr. Popo up on his tower! What do you do? Wait, wait, you- you are- You do nothing, you- you are useless. You are of no use to me. Oh good lord! Hello! Welcome to the stream, YouTube person. Dizzy Kid 909. I'm just trying to figure my way around probably the craziest Sonic level I've ever seen in my life. I uh This is a this is a first time for me, actually. At least at this point of Sonic CD. I've never I never been at this portion of the game. And it scares the shit out of me. It scares me. It absolutely terrifies me. And why do I... How do I get over in here? Like... Is there a pipe that I have to go down into? Is that... Is that our shtick? Oh, they're platforms. Okay, okay. I just need to... Apple! Apples and oranges! Apples that are full of my friends. Vitamins. Because my friends are the only ones that have those apples. Never got privy to the apples. Alright. Don't think I need to be down here. Oh, thank God. Alright. Well, now we get to go through Act 2, guys. Ugh. Wacky workbench. They just- just the way that the- the text for the level bumpers is designed always kind of trips me. Jeez, what? That's what I have now, too? Nice. Cool. 
I always think that every zone is like Wacky Workbench 3, Palm Tree Panic 3, Tidal Tempest 3, Quartz Quadrant 3. Take me to the past, please. I don't want this technology anymore. All right, do we have new technology? Don't remember seeing that. Looks like, um... Looks like Shrek Land. Definitely looks like uh, kind of Shrek Land ish. It's almost like they took Chemical Plant Zone and Oil Ocean from Sonic 2 and took. They like took a picture of one of the Ninja Turtles and they used the eyedropper tool and like stole the color and like created a whole new palette based on that color, and then threw Hilltop Zone in the background. That's what this looks like. This is already a million miles easier. Steampunk Shrek Land. Yeah, maybe the key to getting through that zone is just going into the past, because everything else just scares me. I don't like the electricity. I, I like the steams. I like the steam powers. Steam-powered, featuring condensation, a lack of electricity, early access. Someone in the chat said, whenever they try to beat Chemical Plant Zone Level 2, they have a hard time doing it. It's a pain. Um, I, I did it many, many times when I was a kid. And some of those, some of those portions, especially when you have the liquid, the poison, the chemically water liquid floating up, some of those can, they can mess with you quite a bit, especially the parts that have the rotating blocks. Um, I know it so well that it really isn't an issue for me. I might even do, I, I was thinking of doing a Sonic 2 stream at some point. I did a Sonic 3 and Knuckles stream not long ago, actually, just a couple months ago. But I thought it would be fun to go backward a little bit and go back to the first Sonic game that I ever played, which was Sonic 2. Okay, do I just have to... I must... this must be like survival. Or something like that. Oh, jeez. No. Bad news. Old bears are bad. Was that it? Yeah, there's uh, not much to these bosses, huh? Okay. Too far. Boom. Yep. Got it. Okay, what's next? Thanks so much for the sub and the notification and the like, man. I, I really appreciate it. Um, I just started streaming on YouTube. I've been, I've been streaming on Twitch for almost six months now. And I decided to start splitting my streams up so I can get the YouTube crowd into the mix. But I'm usually streaming 
Thursday and Friday evenings. I try to upload videos of my streams and any other little... Any other little, uh... Snippet of things throughout the week. Um, so I have a lot of long plays, I have some shorter videos. Shit like that. And, you know, I just like to play games and talk and emote. It's good to emote. It's good to talk to people. People like to be talked to, especially when they're taking their time out to watch people play video games. It's good stuff. Okay, that's a... What's the name of this level? I already, already missed the name of the level. Fuck these things, I don't like them because they are the great things in the... Great nest worlds of suck. Well, we are not getting all the time stones, at least not through this run. So when Sonic Media comes out, I have to double check the release date. Um, consequently, I believe the week that it comes out is either the week right before I graduate from college, um, or, or that same week, so either way, I'll be streaming something to celebrate, and it's more than likely going to be Sonic Mania. Um, it's either going to be the day it comes out, or within that week, within a couple of days, it just depends on when it coincides with my stream schedule I wanted to go in the past. But yeah, that's... As soon as I started streaming, I knew for a fact that one of the games on the horizon was going to be Sonic Mania. There was no doubt in my mind, so... The idea is going to be... I will, uh... I will dedicate the entirety of my streams to Sonic Mania when it comes out. And trying to finish that game up, and... and that way we can all... We can all be in love with it together. Yeah, we can all experience it as it's fresh and new. Ooh, that's kind of... That's almost kind of Sonic Mania-ish right there. The little shooty things. But yeah, I'm really excited for Sonic Mania. No, come on. Hey, please. Stop it. Wow. Wait. Wait a minute. Hey. Okay. Yeah, there's a... A lot of moments in this game where I wish I could just go back into my TARDIS and say, Yeah, fuck this. Okay. I need to stop this. This needs to stop. I need to stop this right now. Okay, go up. Up. Man, I thought the pipes were, uh, just in the Game Gear games. Oh, guess where I am again? I'm back here. Okay. See, I wanted to get either all the time stones or... ...save the future and everything, but I'm not quite experienced enough with the game to do it well, so... I, uh... I will be going back and doing that as soon as it's all said and done, I'm thinking. Ironically, join when I'm <laughs> a confirmed zone for Mania while I'm talking. Yes! Imagine that. <laughs> well, look who it is. <laughs> oh shit. Oh yeah, I. I... Okay. Oops. And, um, anybody who's joining and isn't aware, I, this is actually my first time playing all the way through 
Sonic CD. I, um, I've owned it for a little while now. I've dabbled in it, but I've always been so distracted by other games that I've never... Jesus! I've never made my way all the way through, so... I'm just kind of... Going to die. I'm just going to die. I Time to do it better or worse. Who knows? As long as it isn't, like, one of the racing scenarios from Sonic Generations, like, those moments where you have to race Shadow or... Yeah, it's like the Shadow, the Shadow Race. That was probably one of my least favorite moments in that game. Just tedium. Pure TEDIUM! Oh. I don't want to die. I don't have this memorized. I don't have anything memorized. I'm just kind of hoping for the best. Oh, he's going to he's going to charge, isn't he? No! Oh, come on. Mario Kart 9 Super Circuit Mayro Logan Kart 15 Sonic the Hedgehog 5 Kart Sonic 5 Kart I'll beat this one day That was a mistake I consider my streams to be educational streams, because you get to learn how to do things poorly, and then use that as an example for how to improve upon your own self, as gamers. Um, there's a guy that I... There's a guy that I... I follow, who follows me on Twitch, who... Every once in a while, he'll start playing Sonic 3, and he does this high score, like this... Get as many ranks as possible and get the highest score as possible. Fuck this bullshit! And uh, it always amazes me. And I'm like, cool, novelty stuff, at least for me. Three, two, one, go! So I'm guessing this is just kind of a survival thing, more than anything. Just survive, don't get hit. Like I just did. Knee-jerk reactions and survive and all that kind of Hot garbage. No, hot garbage! No! Trash! Oh my! No! No! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Hold up. How do I get up there? Did I already blow my chance? What? Hey. There's an extra life and there's super shoes. Okay, let me, um, investigate here. No. Bad, bad stuff. How the fuck do you get up there? Is it like that? Is that my ticket at happiness? Stop that! I'm gonna wait here. I'm gonna wait here until happier things. Ooh, we look so alike! I mean, it's uncanny. Okay, um... Goal is to jump over all spikes, jump over all instances of... Metal Sonic. 
Mecha Sonic. Metal Sonic, I think it's Metal Sonic now. I don't Isn't is is there a distinction now? Like isn't one supposed to be mecha and one supposed to be metal? I kinda this makes me want to play the I think it's like the Metal Sonic Hyperdrive or Overdrive, whatever the hell it's called, that that one Sonic one hack. Where you play basically as Metal Sonic. Did I do it? I did it? Is there a round two? Amy? I saved Amy! I did it! Just one hug is enough. Yes, it is. Stop it. Amy, stop. Metallic Madness. Okay. So I'm in a chasm. As long as we don't have, like, big electro bumpers, like in Wacky Workbench, I think I'm good. Okay, I'm not good. Send me somewhere happier, please. Stop the s train! Okay, let me let me get back a little ways and stop it. I'm gonna spin dash myself into fucking death. Stop everything, crab person. Hey. Be a flower. Just be a flower. If there's anything you're gonna learn from my streams, kids, is just be a flower. Whatever that means to you. Whatever good you can you can conjure or exhume, whichever word best suits your fancy with being a flower, do that. I am uh, I'm playing this on the PS3 to respond to a chat question. Sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to keep my mind on chat. I'm doing this really, really terribly, too. Um, I'm trying to keep my eye on chat as well as keeping my eye on this very wacky, whimsical game, but... You know, things happen. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah, I am, I am playing this on the PS3. Okay, I made it to the goal. So that they should get rid of the side characters in Sonic, but why is the population? Uh, it's a very strange, a very strange Sonic family we have here. Um, I can't keep track of everyone. Like I, I was, I got into a big, I got into a big sort of YouTube black hole of the uh, what does that do? That Johnny versus a bunch of games. Like he just he all of his videos say like Johnny versus Sonic Unleashed or Johnny versus whatever in the hell, but. I got into a chain with that, and I was still, like, I've I've been following Sonic for the most part, for most of my life. Like, a, there's a big drop-off in the 3D Sonics that I just didn't really bother with. Because reasons, but... 
like, he was naming off characters in games that I had never even heard of. I'm like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> like, I can't even remember. Like, I've, it's it's so blocked out of my memory, or so unusual to my brain. It's like, and, you know, and then now we're gonna have this massive flood. Assuming people actually buy Sonic Forces, this massive flood of the custom characters coming in through Sonic Forces. Okay, passed. Let's see if I can get on this wheelie thing in the bob. Hey. Stop it, the bitch. Stop all of yes. Go to the past. Please. Alright, well I'm in the past now, so a lot of technology is uh is now gone. At least for the meantime, and stop all this. So, for, for those who haven't already said so, tell me your favorite Sonic game. It's mine Sonic 3 Knuckles, and I think that's that's a favorite for a lot of people, but tastes do differ with people. I know that. Sonic 3 Knuckles is kind of an obvious choice, but it made a big impact on me when I was a kid, and so it's, uh, it's, it's always been my favorite. But I do like revisiting other titles just because I play that one to death. Huh? Yeah, and I am I am very interested to see how Sonic Mania measures up. I mean I'm I'm already pretty optimistic just because of I mean, you look at the look at the pedigree of people that are making it. Like you have fans making the game, essentially, and that that kind of stuff always makes me really happy because you would like to be able to trust a company that owns the IP to be able to come up with the best version of it possible. But that really isn't the case with Sonic anymore. Like, oh my God, yes. Okay, I pop, I can't seem to go this way. Or go up there. Stay on the thing going up or boost to the top. Alright, well. What is this? Oh, whoa. Yeah, see I'm uh, I'm kind of figuring out mechanics as I go along. I remember... I remember Death Egg and Sonic 3 being kind of similar when I first played it a long time ago. And people keep telling me the thing that goes up takes me to the top. And I'm small, that's new. That's really new. All right, I am a I am a shrunk Sonic. Yeah, this is a this is my like I, I've I've been I've been trying to rationalize it in my own head too. Like somehow this is the first time I've made it this far in Sonic CD. I've owned it for a little while. Like, I've owned it on the PS3, I actually have it on the Sonic Gems collection, too. Um, which, sadly, I wasn't able to play... ...because right around the time when I bought it... ...uh, my Wii died. And my Wii was the only means of which I can buy... ...I could play my GameCube games. And so... Um, I got it on the PS3, and I played, like, four stages in it, but... ...my biggest issue is... 
having really bad video game ADD. Like, I'll get something and I'll dabble in it, and then I'll be like, oh, I kind of feel like playing this. And then it's like, oh, no, actually, I kind of feel like playing this. Or maybe I'll play this instead, and then I just... You know, eventually it's a year and a half down the road, and I'm finally... Fuck that, no. Finally doing some kind of a run-through of Sonic CD. I'm just... I'm just hoping that I make it somewhere interesting here. Okay, I've been up here. I would love to see a remaster by Whitehead. Like, that that would be an incredible experience. Okay, I'm back here. Starting to go in loops now. So, from here, should I be going any... I see rings here. I see super shoes here. Am I going backwards? I feel like I might be. Although I haven't quite seen this yet. Oh, that move! Okay. Does it make me bigger again? Yep. Pipes! Oh lord. Oh no. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! No! Eh. Okay, well, we're going at it again. I'm not giving up. No, wrong one. No, bad. That was the old- so this was the furthest I made it in the old file that I had. Let's see, start game. Yeah, three laps. It's also the danger of... <laughs> safety! Safety, Sonic! Okay. It's like... It sounds like it wouldn't be too out of place in a Persona game. No bad... bad news! Go down here. Up and snarf. Go this way. Okay, very very nice, nice little, nice little slow jumper. Good, good. Oh jeez. Hey, hey, stop there. Thank you. On my live count, I have 100 subscribers, is it... Really? I, did I finally make it to 100? Did I finally do it? Did I do it? Did I do it? Can I finally change my... My YouTube URL thing? Well guys, you witnessed my first 100 subscribers. Congratulations, and thank you so much for joining me for this experience. I, uh... I got so into just playing the game and talking to you guys that those little things just... Oh, hey. Those little things just kind of... They escape me, but... Thanks for letting me know, and oh my! Oh! 
Is that what people were talk- Is that what you were telling me about? Okay, I've been here. Well, I'm... Damn, I'm excited. I got myself 200 subscribers. Cool. You know, and I'm one of those guys that, you know, I, I, I created a YouTube channel. I started streaming. And I don't tend to be the kind of person who has delusions of grandeur in any sort of way. And so I, I, I figure it's like, oh, well, you know, if people want to watch, then that's really cool. And if people want to subscribe, then that's also really cool. And, you know, I want to... I want to hope to continue to make the experience fun for people. And, you know, usually looking like a buffoon playing games like this tends to help. And not taking it too seriously also tends to fuck everything that I love. But thanks, guys. Mario's a dinosaur? Are you talking about the... Are you talking about the Mario Odyssey trailer? The one that completely threw me and probably thousands and thousands of other people off before the hat showed up? The Wonderful 101, yes! Yes, the 101 guy! Also, one thing that I hope to do on my videos and also my streams is come up with... come up with good new combinations of curse words and onomatopoeias and non sequiturs. That's that's been a goal of mine for years. And that of course, of course, yes, fart. All right, going down now. I um of the next gen, I do not have a PS4. The PS4 is actually on my radar very, very soon, um, and a big part of that is it now has the back catalog of really great games, and soon I'll have a little bit more time to enjoy things like that, because I am, if you weren't here at the beginning, I am just, I am five weeks away from being a college graduate with a degree in communication, so that's fucking Jesus. That's not where I wanted to go, but oh, actually that is, okay. And so once that happens, on top of the whole figuring out what I want to do with myself, um, I'm gonna have more time for things like that, but I do own a Switch. The Switch is what I what I have so far. Um, I, I've been trying to really control my spending lately, just... Oh. Zero. Again. Alright, well, I'm doing it- I'm doing it again. Yeah, I think a lot of people thought that the Odyssey trailer was Monster Hunter, because that was my first thought. I was laying in bed. I was laying in bed, and I, and I woke up because it was at- it started at 9 a.m. my time. I'm over on the Pacific- Pacific Northwest area. Um, and I was laying there, and I'm like, this, why are they, why are they ending their presentation with Monster Hunter? That makes no sense. And then I saw the hat, I'm like, fuck no, really? And thus was Super Mario Odyssey. Blindsiding Nintendo fans everywhere. Oh my god. Please. It's, well... I'm gonna try to do it this time. If I don't keep hitting the spikes, then... Oh! 
it. Oh, jeez. God. I, I do want to stream some of Mario Odyssey when it comes out. It's hard though. I mean that that that's that's just like a an absolutely fun, just a pure fun game to, to probably play since I haven't played it yet. But also watch, I can imagine. Do this again. No, oh, jeez, Jesus. Checkpoints, all the checkpoints. Oh yeah, there's this guy, this little dude here. He's good, but he's my best friend. What does this remind me of? This reminds me of some kind of real-world object or toy or something like that. Oh, fine. Oh, fine. Yes, sure. Why not? Just sure. Let's get back up here. Get up here. Try to get through this whole process unscathed. Mordecai Jones is a name that I just made up. I don't care, it's way too bad. No, Mini Sonic. What if the next? I mean, I already know that we have Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces. And coming down the pipeline, but what if the next AAA Sonic game was like ton Sonic is turned into a, a baby, like he gets turned into like a small child, um, or even just a toddler, not even just like a full-on baby, like a, a pain in the ass toddler, and Tails has to care for him, and it ends up becoming some sort of strange, twisted ripoff of like Yoshi's Island. I mean, like. It seems completely implausible, but knowing the track record of Sonic these days, I mean, something as preposterous as that could. I mean, we got Sonic Unleashed with the Werehog strangeness. Uh, okay, up, up. The worst type of spikes ever. Oh god, here we are again. Ditto kid is missing. Small, deliberate jumps. Oh god! Ah, uh, that's uh, the bane of my existence so far. God, stop it. Oh, fuck. Of course, I should've known. Give me- oh. okay, So it's over here. And then up there, and it's to the right now. And in the middle. Get me out of here. Please, get me out. Give me the rings. Whew, okay. Now, to not get squished wherever it was that I got squished, it was right here. And here I am. In the past. Not yet, but maybe someday. Sonic on Atari. Um, maybe somebody could run a 
a search on Sonic Retro and see if something like that actually does exist. Um, I've been here. I've fucking been here. Oh, God. Okay, um, any insight, guys? Of where to go that isn't here? Do I need to travel through time to get myself through this place? Oh, yeah, so that... Okay. So I, I, I figured out that move now. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna know this super well by the time I finish. Here we go again. So here's this. And that's down there, so I'll go down here. I get every ring that I possibly can. Here's this again. See, I'm just trying to find a point where I'm confident enough. And this way, what about this way? Nope, that just takes me back around. Cool. What a maze. I'm just trying to find a spot where... I mean, I suppose those those loop-de-loop -loop circle things can help me time travel, but it, it means getting back there, and... Does time run out at 10 minutes in this, like other games? Okay, so... One person saying go to the left after the spike platforms, okay. Oh god, of course! I was even trying to go around. Okay, so here's this. And that... And then in the middle... So, left after spike platforms. Like, left and up? What? You meant right? Oh, no. Oh, no! Well, looks like I'm going around and it looks like time's about to run out. I'm not sweating it so much. Checkpoint. Okay, um... Wait, no, 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 no. Well, that... Past, future. The world of tomorrow. Ouch. Well. Alright, so I will get myself... Well, I guess, since I have that checkpoint, now I'm not gonna get myself there yet. Oh, of course. Alright, so I'm gonna get myself back through that sequence again. 
And then... I will go right. It'll be the opposite of... that episode of Doctor Who, where... Donna has to turn left, and instead turns right, except this time I'm turning right. Nitto Kid! Nitto Kid! Sounds like he's talking about Nitto Kid. Nitto Kid! That'd be like one of the Poke Gods that they always lied about in the playgrounds. Nitto Kid! You know, you have to, like, go in and out of a Pokemon Center, like, 155 times. 155. I know it's like four more than... than the, the a number of Pokemon in Pokemon Red and Blue, but, like... Those are, like, actually the numbers of the gods, and, like, 155 is actually the, the, the number for Nitto, Nitto Kid. Jesus Christ! I'm gonna get it, some rings for good measure here. We're going down this way. We're going this way. I feel like it's been a while since I've been this way. God. Nitto Kid is missing a foot! I hate you, I hate you. Not this time, Ring Siphoner. Nitto Kid is missing a foot! Yeah! Sure, I'll get that. What happens if I... Not quite, but... Someday... And then, yeah, I'm stuck here, so I have to go left, down and around. Oh, and there's this guy, this old good man. Yeah. Oh, man, I almost... Okay, so I'll take you around and I'll get back to the part with it the spikes that fall, and then I'll go right, and then we can all hopefully get through this experience together. Hundred and two subs. I don't like you. Okay, Mini Sonic. Good old mini Sonic, and then do this part again. I'm gonna be dreaming about this zone, sort of like when I play Tetris for long periods of time and dream about blocks falling. And then the sun comes up, and the birds start chirping, and I can't sleep, and I go insane. Okay, okay, we're making we're making some headway now. We're almost to spike land. No, no crushing. Okay, going that way. Oh wait, no, fuck shit. I did I did something incorrectly, didn't I? Yep. Going back down and around. Nitto kid is kissing it! Get yourself a pretty boy! Wait, what? <laughs> Does anybody have lyrics? Yay, I didn't get hit by the spikes that time. Now it's a matter of not getting crushed. And going right. And uh, like the song says, folks, uh, get yourself a man. It's 
Coming down the middle. Oh, God. Ugh. Ugh. Guys, man, that took way longer than it should have. But hey. Zone three. Oh god, Jesus. Wow, nice. Very cool. Cool. Cool fuckery. I like it. Oh, more of this. Going to that slight right. Okay, okay. So it got lag when I got to the goal. Um, yeah, there might be some lag that... ...people are experiencing. Um... So I am... I just started using a restreamer... ...application... ...last week... To ...split my streams, and there may be some... ...issues with that. Um, I'm still experimenting with all that, and this kind of kind of looks like it sucks. Um, oh, I see. Okay, well, I'm I'm alive. What do I- wait, what? What do I have to do here? Okay, that didn't quite work. Oh, I see. We have- we have dimensions. There's a front and a back. I did not realize that at first. So I'm guessing I have to go into the front portion of this? Yes, cool, okay. Eh? Huh? Okay, that just shoots and shoots and doesn't care. Okay, that that hurt me. What do I what do I do with you? Is that just like a survival thing or is there do I have to try to get on top of him? Wait, hold on. Let me let me look at chat here real quick. Using a peel out up plus jump over the spikes on the same level and land on your standing unless you go on it without being harmed unless you stop running over them. This doesn't happen a lot though. Okay. Thanks for the tip. So I'm guessing you have to jump on it from above. It just seemed like it wasn't getting down low enough. But maybe I just wasn't being patient. And no! God, what a wacky game. Now I'm gonna be stuck here forever. <laughs> oh no. And moving back on to where I was.
Metallic Madness 3. Okay, fresh group of lives. Not going up there, not dealing with that. Toe Jam and Earl bullshit. Is this just supposed to make me feel like a little safer? For like 30 seconds? At least at this part. Oops, no bad. Don't go down. Don't do it! Oh, we need to go up. We need... We need to go up! God, I did so well the first time I tried. I have no idea what kind of a delay I have from my voice and the music. I have a quite, quite a capture card delay with my PS3. Because I have to run it through a component adapter with my, my shit here. Oh yes, yes, ooh. Best case scenario. Oops. Go on by here. So I gotta jump on it when it's vulnerable. There we go. Oh, two of them. Great, cool. Oh. Touchy. Touchy, touchy. as I can. Yes! Ooh. Timing. Alright, so the goal is to keep this thing as long as I can. Middle chain is got to be. Okay, so we got him. Now we have both of them. Come down a little lower. Or not. Cool. Oh yeah? Oh my. Oh my. Oops, no bad. Keep the rings. Ugh. Okay, I see. I see. Come 
one more, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. Come on down, bud. Come on down, boss. Boof. Boof. Dr. Eggman got served. Oh boy, here's our cutscene. All stages clear. Earned a trophy. Well... Ah, Sonic cutscenes. Without any dialogue, and just music. The more expressionist Sonic. Sonic saved Cocoon! Yeah, it was definitely in any percentage. I, uh, I didn't get... I didn't get all the time stones or save all the futures or anything like that, but at least I managed to make it through the game, so now I have a better idea of what to expect when I go through and, and do a, a real completion of it. So... Well, that's, uh... That's been a long time coming. Like, as... A lifelong fan of the classic Sonic, Sonic titles. Beating Sonic CD, at least doing the normal little playthrough of Sonic CD. It was quite fun. Yeah, somebody else was telling me about the phone version of uh, Sonic CD, and I was like, oh, interesting, like, I wonder how that plays. Well, I mean, any of them, like, I wonder how they would play, like, with the, the little digital joystick and things like that, but, you know, they're saying that it's actually quite responsive. And I'm just so used to playing these games with a controller that I can't imagine playing a game like this with touch controls. But isn't the uh, isn't the Sonic 2 release for mobile or iOS or if it, it maybe it's just all versions or whatnot? Isn't that the one that has the hidden palace zone added into it? How do you become supersonic in three and knuckles? Um, I believe you can in three and knuckles, I believe you can be supersonic with all the regular chaos emeralds in the first part of it. Or maybe maybe since they're together, maybe you can't do it until you can become hypersonic. I can't remember. Because I know that be to become hypersonic you have to get all the regular chaos emeralds and all the the super emeralds. But yeah, from from what I remember, you can do both. At least for the first part of the game, I want to say. I don't remember. It's been a while. Cool. Oh, oh, oh. Try again, you dumbass. See you next game. Thank you for playing my game.